Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so sorry about that. Um, this tutorial might be kind of sketchy. It's been a while, so I don't know. And I don't really know what I'm going to call this tutorial either. Um, it has something to do with what to do when you first install Vegas and you open it up and you want to like organize it so that it looks good and it's easy to use. So that's what I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Just how to make your Vegas, you know, look easy to use and, well, it'll make it easier to use in the end anyways. So... I don't know if you got that, but here we go. So I reset my layout so that this is what Vegas looks like when you first install it in it and open it up for the first time. It should look something extremely similar to this if you're running Vegas 9 or 10 or 8. I don't even know if 10's out yet, but 8 or 9, it should look like this for sure. So if you want to change your layout to look like that, you go up here to View, Windows Layouts, and then Default Layout. Just click that and it'll reset it. So this is what Vegas looks like when you first open it up. The first thing that I think, like, this is just my recommendation, by the way, but the first thing I recommend you do is go up here to, this is called the trimmer. You go up here to this little X by the trimmer, and you just click on that X, and it'll get rid of the trimmer. Because when I use Vegas, I never, ever use the trimmer, and I uh, do pretty well. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but, yeah, so I don't ever use the trimmer, so you can go ahead and get rid of that. You can go ahead and get rid of this, too, the master volume thing. Uh... I don't really use it. I use it a bit more often than I use the trimmer, but it's pretty pointless, so I just get rid of that. And it'll also make your preview box a bit bigger. And then also you'll have a bunch of stuff here like Project Media, Explorer, Transitions, Video Effects, and Media Generators. I get rid of the Explorer, and I just keep Project Media, Transitions, Video Effects, and Media Generators in that order. You can also um, go up here to Options, Preferences, Display, and then have Display Timeline at bottom of main window. You could have that unchecked if you wanted. And that would keep the timeline on the top. Some people prefer to do it like that. Uh, especially if you ran Vegas 7 or earlier because that's what the default setting was. Uh, preferably what I do is I just keep it on the bottom. That's just what I'm used to but it's up to you. So this is what Vegas looks for me. Uh, this is what it looks like for me when I uh, you know, start a new project and stuff. Speaking of which we can go up here to file and then properties. And we can customize all this stuff so that this is what the default video settings will be when you open up. Like right now, mine's at set to 1440 by 1080, which is a 1080p resolution because all my videos are in high definition. But I could change this to something like, I don't know, 320 by 240, which is really low quality. And then, it, as you can see, my preview box is set to a 4x3 resolution. So we can go back to the properties. That's also Alt and Enter on your keyboard. So just Alt and Enter, and it brings it up. I'm going to keep mine to custom actually 1440 1080 and then you can change all this stuff but it's kind of advanced I just leave most of it um, at the default settings uh, I changed the motion blur type to ga Gaussian asymmetric I don't know what the default is but I change it to this one if it isn't like that already and then I always make full resolution rendering quality to the best and that's pretty much it I just keep everything else the same then I hit OK and it didn't work there. Let me try that again. 1440 by 1080. I don't even know what I... Oh, start only project with these settings. This should actually be a 16 by 9. I don't know what, why it didn't work. But anyways, so that's what I do for this. And if you... This is really just aesthetic right here. But if you're interested in changing the color scheme of your Vegas, um, I think there's a different way to do it in Sony Vegas 9 and 10. If 10 exists, that's just, I don't even know. I don't even keep up with this program anymore. But the way I do it if I want to change the color scheme is I actually minimize the program and go to my desktop. Right click and go to personalize. If you're running Vista or 7, go to theme. And then, okay, no, you don't go to theme. You go to display settings. And, okay, you don't go there either. You go to this one, window, color, and appearance. Sorry about that. Then you go to advanced. Then you go to 3D objects. And then you can change this one. Like I can make it this kind of purplish pink color I don't even know hit OK then we go to Vegas and see it's all crazy like this I just keep it white and like a whitish kind of gray it's up to you though of course I'm gonna just do plain white and see what it looks like yeah that's that's disgustingly white but yeah it works I guess another thing you can do when just organizing your program is you can make the timeline small like this if you're not going to work with that much media or very large if you're working with a lot of media I just keep it kind of in between and like about here I don't know it doesn't really matter 
And you can also stretch, like, you can stretch anything if you want. Like, I make this so I can see all the text sometimes, or sometimes I'll just keep it. It depends on, like, what I'm doing, really. And you can also, uh, this might be a little confusing at first, but just pay attention. Um, on each of these little window things, you'll see six horizontal, or six vertical dots, sorry. And if you click on the any of the vertical dots and just drag out, I just took this pro um, this window here, the video preview, and now it's, it's kind of its own window. And if I want to put that back, I could put it somewhere else. Okay, maybe not. Sometimes you can put them somewhere else. But I could just put it up here, back where it belongs, and then I can stretch it, make it really small or really big, keep it somewhere in between there. Same thing goes for this and for the timeline, as I already described. So yeah, you can uh, resize all the windows in Vegas. And you can also do that for the trimmer and stuff, but we already got rid of that. If you want to bring the trimmer back or the mixer back or anything, you go to View, then you go to like Mixer, and then here it is again. You can make it, or I can take it out if I want. I'm just going to get rid of it. Go to View, let's bring the trimmer back. And yeah, I don't like the trimmer. I see no point in using it. And then there's also a bunch of stuff that I don't even like know. Like I don't know what this is. Like video scopes, like what the hell is this I do not know so I just don't use it it's kind of weird and then let's see there's also extensions which is kinda of different focus the timeline okay I didn't really do anything okay yeah have a plugin manager see there's a bunch of stuff that is actually hidden when you use Vegas but you could bring it audio bus tracks that might be kinda of useful but I just get rid of it so yeah there's a bunch of stuff that you can show in Vegas so I don't really know what else to say. I hope that this tutorial was useful for you to just kind of clean up Vegas and just a very, very quick overview. This is what I do. View, let's just reset this. Default layout. Get rid of the mixer. Get rid of the trimmer. Go to your properties and make it good stuff. Let me just change it to this for now. This one. There we go. Now it's 16 by 9. And get rid of the explorer and then you can resize all this stuff to fit your preferences and that's basically my layout when I use Sony Vegas and one last thing before I close this off you can go to view windows layout and then save layout as and I can just call this like blah 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 and hit OK now if I go to view windows layouts default and now it's all back to the default one and then I go back here to blah 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 it'll just change it to this one. So you can have different layouts for different um, styles of editing, but I don't know. I just stick to one layout when I edit. So I hope this tutorial was good. I'll try and make some more videos, but no promises. I'm really kind of falling behind on this sort of stuff, but no worries. I'll do my best. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys later.